a good game isn't just about leveling up and accumulating wealth. It's about connecting with the greater story. What is the lore of the game? Um, kids play all kinds of epic games. The gaming industry outstrips Hollywood for the income it generates. It is huge. And storytellers are a big part of that. Now, as a teacher, you're a natural storyteller, and you can invent this elaborate fictional story to build your game around. Or you could just connect with the real world. Uh, the Mac Lab way, I've shown you this before, uh, this story begins with a conversation that I was having with two other teachers about how do we make school more interesting and engaging and we couldn't come to any consensus, you know, because we teach different things. And as the conversation wound down, I noticed this was written right at my feet on the concrete right there. <laughs> and I, I, when I noticed it, I started laughing because uh, the prior summer I sat on a panel at Adobe at their headquarters discussing the positive power of failure. And um, I'm quoted here by one of the Adobe, well, she worked at Adobe then, she's with code.org now, uh, but you know that our stated purpose is school sucks and we're out to change that. So that student graffiti was extra meaningful to me. And while the kids completed the second half of their standardized testing, Oh my, and I won't even go into what I think about that. Um, it, it's not enough to complain, you know? Do something about it. That's the heart of my game lore. For everyone, students and teachers, some part of the experience sucks. I love my job. I, you probably became a teacher because you wanted to become a teacher. I became a teacher as a second career because I wanted to help my family. It, it was a way for us to solve a financial and insurance problem in order to transition from one lifestyle to another because we had a child. And uh, this was not a calling for me. And I never expected to love it so much. I love the kids. I love going to work. I love Mondays and I love Fridays. But I hate grades. I think it poisons the learning environment and just is, is almost unbearable. That part sucks for me, big time. So that's my lore. And I tell the kids, let's prove there's another way for you to learn, another way for me to assess you that doesn't revolve around tests because me, I had a 2.46 in high school and I got into Cal Poly's impacted architecture program. Yes, it was impacted back in 1973. I got in with that low GPA because I aced the entrance exam. You know, my daughter bombed the SAT, graduated with a 4.25, bombed the SAT, got her biology degree with 3.5, and bombed the GRE multiple times. Now, She's at Miami of Ohio. They're giving her a free ride. They're paying her a stipend. She's teaching classes, getting her mastered on her way to her PhD. She bombs tests. Some people are good at tests. Some people suck at tests. And I want a show what you know learning environment where you don't have to take a test because you do it every day, day in, day out, in the classroom, not at home. This is my lore. What's yours? That's what I build my classroom around. It's not enough to just say school sucks. Let's do something about it. Let's prove there's another way to do it. And my story of how this happens is right here in the Mac Lab Ways, the short version. Grades are touched on here, but Reimagine dives deeper and gives the true case for an alternate method of assessment. And then Gameful Learning is about that lore. These three articles are not required reading, but if you don't get any ideas from reading this, maybe this is the wrong system for you. 
and maybe this isn't just, this, this won't work. I don't want to waste your time. Because if all you do is throw XP and gold at kids and expect magic to happen, uh, you know, you might get a little fairy dust, but you won't get those epic changes, that game lore. Having a story, a, a story you believe in. Don't just make it up. We're not, you know, freeing unicorns from the tyranny of eating cows and horses in order to be born. It, we're, we're trying to solve a real world problem. And that is the essence of how I hook kids. What will your hook be?